really, nigga? Everybody, man, it's your boy Shaw. Oh, yeah, y'all ain't used to this. Uh, no face cam today. This the old. Give me the cheese. I need the cheese to start. Thank God for giving me that cheese. You know, anytime I get that jump ball, because I rarely get it, because Mars God only get like two inches off the ground on the tip off. So, uh, yeah, anytime I do win the tip off, I want the cheese. And I need it in abundance. So yeah, we get it. Look, we locking up. We locking this guy up, man. This is a tier 14 Chicago Bulls, man. Running with this newly look Lakers. I mean, it's not that big of a look, a new look. But I mean, we are a new look Lakers, man. Uh, you saw on the roster we do have Corey Brewer. We don't have Sweet Lou no more, man. And, and 2K just made it harder for me. Well, I'm going to say the Lakers made it hard for me to score on this damn, with this team when I'm playing online because I don't have my uh my best score on the team, man, which is Lou Will. That's why I get all my points from him and Mozgov because if I have to cheese the paint, I'm going straight to Mozgov because a lot of people can't, uh, they can't guard him. And speaking of Mozgov, I'm going into Mozgov right there. But, yeah, man, we locking this guy up. I don't think he like it. He haven't even scored yet. That was a bad attempt at a, at a block, but um, we do recover. And I mean, we just locking this guy. There's nothing that he can do. I mean, I'm I'm going everywhere that he goes. Playing in this 2K cam, man, it is easier to play uh, defense. I really got it for offense though, because I miss a lot of offensive shots when I'm playing in broadcasts and being on online. Look, he quit. Just quit out, man. Yeah. And 2K, y'all need to fix that. I don't care if the guy do. If, if, even if we is in the uh, the first quarter, give me my two wins because I beat a tier 14. The rule is on 2K, if you don't go all the way to halftime, and they don't give you your two wins. They just give you one win like it's a regular. And here this guy, he ended up pausing, and he ended up leaving because we had Lakers versus Lakers. I will put my skill with my Lakers up against anybody. I guarantee y'all will come out the win almost every time. So now we're going into our third game. We get two quicks, and now we're going into our third game going up against T-Wolves and Carl Anthony Towns, man. Give me the cheese. I need the cheese, please, in abundance. Don't let me skip out on that. I out jump this nigga. You better give me my cheese, man. I needed that. I need that every bit of it right here. I was playing terrible defense, and he gets the three to go, man. We had a bad start off in this game, and I don't know what was going on. But uh, but yeah, man. Uh, what y'all think, Lakers? If 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 y'all are Laker fans, what do y'all think about the big changes that we have made? I'm loving it. I'm loving the changes that we have made as an organization because. Really? It was about time. I mean, it's been a long look at this cut, but we had to get it out to Brandon Ingram to knock down that three. Brandon Ingram, we passed you up for DeMarcus Cousins, dude. We told, well, I ain't going to say we did, but I know Mitch and, and Jim Buss, they did not trade you because they were saying that you they think you're going to be probably a better player than uh, DeMarcus Cousins in the long run. I sure hope so, man, but I think that's why them niggas got fired because if it was me, I would have went ahead and pulled the trigger, but I'm thinking about it. I don't want it to be Dwight Howard point two, point two, part two. I don't want it to be Dwight Howard part two because, you know, when we signed Dwight Howard, we had him for a year, but... At the end of the uh, the second year, he had an option to go ahead and just become an unrestricted free agent and leaving if he wanted to. And I think that's what Mitch was really thinking about. They didn't want us to be in a, a deeper hole than what we are right now. So they said, nah, we're not going to trade for DeMarcus Cousins. One, because he's a head case. You never know what you're going to get with DeMarcus. You know you're going to get stats. You know you're going to get, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're going to get wins, but... When it comes to DeMarcus Cousin and his attitude, you really don't know what you're going to get out of him. But you know you're going to get a great player, which is the best center in the league, in my opinion. Uh, that's my opinion. I think DeMarcus Cousins is the best center in the league right now. But uh, I guess Mitch, they didn't want to take a chance on him. You know, we got this good talent that's uh, on the floor right now. You know, everybody, I mean, our damn roster is like averaging not to be like 19 years old. I mean, really. Seriously, I guess they didn't want to just give up on that talent. So they have this big faith in Brandon Ingram. They didn't want to give him up for um 
They didn't want to give up Brandon Ingram from uh for DeMarcus Cousins <laughs> defense. That was Corey Brewer. Yeah, y'all gonna see Corey Brewer do some work for me in here. You see, I'm running that break with Corey Brewer. Nigga, stamina line is all in the red. Nigga was tired already. But yeah, you gonna see me do work with Corey Brewer in this game, man. I'm for real. I'm serious. That's why I wanted. I just wanted to use the squad and use Corey Brewer just to see. What he's look, what he looks like in his game, and his three is terrible. His three point rating is terrible. His um, his mid range is terrible. So really, I'm just using him for defense, and you know, just to run a break because he's a, a quick three. That's what he is. He's like a real quick three. He's real long, and uh, he, he he can defend. That's pretty much what we got him for. Really, I don't even think we got him for that. I think we're gonna get rid of him in the uh, probably after next season or even. After this season, I don't know where the Lakers are going. We got the first round draft pick from we got Corey Brewer and a first round draft pick from the the Houston Rockets uh, in his trade for for my dude Sweet Lou man Lou Will. I'm I'm a really miss you. My commentary gonna be all over the place. Y'all already know how I do this. We're gonna be talking about the game that you're looking at now and plus the moves that we've been making as a real organization in the NBA. But yeah, Sweet Lou man, I'm a, I'm a really miss you man. I, I really do my nigga. I already feel it. But, man, if you think about it, I don't know if the Lakers are trying to tank. We're not an organization that's known for trying to tank. But whenever you trade the best player that quick and you get Corey Brewer and a first-round draft pick, I think they're really doing it for the picks. But uh, on the other end, you know, uh, you gave away our best shooter, our, our best scorer. So, I mean, I don't know where the scoring is going to come from because when these guys can't get a bucket, we always depend on on Lou Will to get our offense going. And now that's out of here. That's not, that's no more. We don't have that. So, I mean, if you look at it from a deeper perspective, do you think the Lakers are really just trying to take by giving away our best shooter, our best score, and try to lose as many games as possible to get a higher draft pick and secure our top three pick? Or you just think, you know, Magic just needed to make a, a deal quick, fast, you know, get something for him. I don't know, man. I mean, you never know with the Lakers. I never really questioned the organization because I love my squad. I love my organization, man. I'm going to stick by this team and this organization no matter what. I don't care what they do. No matter if you did give Miles Goff $64 million fucking dollars and his ass is sitting on the bench and Zubak Shakur is getting all his damn minutes off the bench. Like, seriously, it don't matter if you gave Luau Dane like $72 million. You know, I'm not going to question that. I'm not going to question you giving Luau Dane old ass, ain't been good since the Chicago days, or early Chicago days, $72 million. I'm not going to question that, and I'm not going to really worry about it. We just going to say that, look at this bullshit. How the hell? I mean, this nigga got like 30 chances to hit that shot, and they gave him an and one out all that. But, yeah, we're not going to question what they're doing. All I know is the Lakers are going into a new direction. I'm loving it. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the offseason. I really want him to do something. Make another, uh, look at this boy, Corey Brewer, man. Fake him. Fake him. Put it up. Yeah, Corey Brewer getting me some points off the bench, man. First time ever playing with him, man. I, I, I'm loving him right now. I'm not going to say I'm loving him. Uh, I'm never going to love him more than I love Lou Will, man, because that's where our damn offense came from. But look at this lockup right here, man. We got the lockup. Zubak Shakur, man, but he didn't get the block right there. But we did get a block earlier with this guy but you see i'm uh starting him instead of um i have him out there instead of larry nance because i just i know going up against the uh the t wolves you really got to deal with carl anthony towns i didn't want to put larry nance out there and you know just get demolished so i wanted to put two big bodies out there in tyreek black and shit i'm just dumb. i put tyreek black and i put out zubak to, you know, to give me that uh, defensive presses that I need on the inside because everybody know when you play online, they going in the paint and they going to their best big man and Cat is a damn beast on here. So I wanted to put some size out there. Look at that. Corey Brewer running the break again, man. So, yeah, he's looking good out there for me, man, when I'm playing with the Lakers. And we have a three-point lead right here. But, man, yeah, I'm loving what we're doing right now. I'm glad that we got magic. We finally got a gym bust. Stinking ass. We've been waiting for this guy to leave or get fired since I don't know when, man. It's time for a new look in the organization. Whether you're a Laker fan or not, or you like the moves or not, thing is, the, the what we really need to know is, 
We needed a damn look. We needed a new look right here. We get that three because we ain't even playing no damn defense. There's only 45 seconds left in this game. We needed a new look in the front office, man, and that's what we got. And I think this this is where we're going to go ahead and turn around and we're going to get the Lakers where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be always, look at this bullshit right here. I end up turning the ball over, and this nigga going to the break. He's running out on a break with Rubio, man, and he got that over uh, Brewer. I'm like, man. Corey Brewer was, like, knocking everything back or really contesting everybody's shot early in the game. But this little, the smallest guy on the damn court, Rubio, he ended up getting that layup to go. So now we have 30 seconds to go. So I see this guy. He's playing real, real tight with uh, Rubio. We only we almost turned the ball over right here. I'm like, come, come on, dude. You really got to play better uh, offense than that right here. You see he's just reaching. He's reaching with Rubio. I'm like, I'm just going to go around him. You playing that tight up on me. And you playing that aggressive, I'm just going around you. So we end up getting the two to go with uh, D'Angelo Russell. So now we got to play defense. We already know that Gorgie Zhang, whatever that nigga name is, he hit that three to uh, bring him down only by two, and then Rubio tied it up with the layup. But look at this, man. We're playing that good on-ball D. Look, we caused him to stumble, did he get it out to Zhang? But I get that on-ball D. Offensive, not offensive, but on-ball steal. Oh, not even the on-ball still. What the fuck am I talking about? We got the on-ball block. I don't know where I'm going right now, y'all. But all I know is I'm just happy. We, yeah, I'm happy about this damn win. But really, I'm happy as a Lakers fan that we finally see some new blood Bruh. in the... I ain't want to say new blood. I mean, we all talking about magic. I ain't no disrespect. But yeah, we got some new faces in there. And you see right here my dude Corey Brewer was the player of the game with 13 points. Uh, that's off the bench, man. You can't be mad at that. Five for five and shooting. Uh, free throws. His free throws are kind of suspect. I don't know why the Lakers miss. I don't know why 2K make a miss so many free throws. After that, everybody else was just getting two points, five points, four points. I mean, really, it really wasn't no no big scoring from anybody. But this guy, he did not go to Carl Anthony Towns. He was four or six for eight points. I was wondering, like, this is the first time I ever played against somebody that played with the uh the T Wolves that didn't go to Carl Anthony Towns. Like every possession down the court so yeah man i'm happy for where the organization is going i'm so glad that magic johnson has finally got the title of vp man i'm so ready to see what's going to happen in the off season i hope that we can really just make something happen man we passed up on boogie cousins man hopefully we can get something else Hopefully, I, I don't really know what's going on, man. But all I can do is just sit back and wait to see where it, everything is going. But man, it's your boy Shaw Dog. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm signing out, man. Y'all have a good one. Let's go, Lakers, baby. <laughs>